started. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted via remote means. Members of the public who wish to, wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the town website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, we'll call us to order at 6.03 p.m. We'll take a roll call of attendance. Gaston. Here. Kelly. Here. Dylan. Here. And I am here. So we're four present and one absent. And the next thing on the agenda is public comment. Is there anyone here for public comment? General public comment unrelated to any of the hearings. If you have anything like that, raise your hand by clicking the little hand button. And I see no one here for public comment. So let's go right into uh, the license licenses up for approval. And one of these requires a hearing. Steve, is that correct? That's the transfer. That's correct. From yep. Cousins from provisions. So does that have a time scheduled on it? And you said that also has, uh, we might be need to continue that hearing, open it and continue it. Is that correct? That was scheduled for six o'clock. And yes, the application uh, is not yet complete. There's just a couple of things outstanding we're still waiting for. So um, the board wouldn't be able to approve that today. Okay, so do we want to open the hearing and then continue in it or and then hear testimony next time? Is that fine with everybody? Or we also have. Uh... Are, are the is the applicant here as a guest? Um, I don't know. I don't I see a Nicole in the audience. I'm not sure if that's somebody who's related to this application. Um, if you are Nicole, please just raise your hand. And it does. Uh, yes, looks like she is Nicole. Uh, and, and Steve, I, I mean, my, my thought is simply that if, uh, if there is somebody here to, uh, to take advantage and, and introduce the application, do we need to open the hearing to do that? Yes, yes, we would. Okay, so I suppose we can do that. Dylan, go ahead. I'm just going to make the motion to open the hearing. Okay, we also have, just before we do, do, do that, and uh, Gabrielle Gould is here. The Drake is opening tonight, so Steve can, and she has a... a of short term that she wants to get. Can we switch those, Steve, or is that not possible? Um, the order? I believe we could switch the order, yeah. Can we do that very quickly? Did everyone get I, a chance to look at? Yeah, go ahead, Steve. I believe we could, yeah. OK. All right, so why don't we just do that and um, get Gabrielle on her way. Um, so Steve, can you introduce this or can Gabrielle introduce for short term? Hello, yeah, all. you should have the floor. Hi, can everybody Hi, hear me? Hi, Hi. Um, so as you know, the town of Amherst is doing a town-wide cleanup this Saturday, April 30th. Um, and the bid is, you know, we didn't get to do our block party this year and we've had to cancel some other things. So we decided to do a big event on the 30th uh, from 1 to 5 p.m. on the South Common as we did our summer music series. And we'll be coming before you again for those Friday nights in July and August. Um, we have White Lion Brewery, which is a brewery out of Springfield that will have his dandelion truck. Um, his dandelion truck is licensed and will do um, White Lion Brewery beer, uh, artifact site which is a local cider and black birch vineyards wines so same exact thing we did over the summer except one then one tent instead of three um we will be there the entire day we will do the bracelets the same way that we did over the summer i i am i remain tip certified so i can check ids um one to five this is a very big family event we'll have live music we'll have uh, magicians doing magic shows um some other fun stuff and i have full insurance for the event which i think i already sent to steve steve if i have not i will send it to you tomorrow and i think other than that i've covered all my bases okay great thanks gabrielle does anyone have any questions or comments for gabrielle about this event 
Hearing none, I'll uh, uh, entertain a motion to pass SST, um, to approve SST, what is the number on this? 22-15 for the Amherst bid. Is there a motion? So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, is there a second? I'll second. Thank you, Hallie. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. Gaston. Aye. Dylan. Aye. Hallie. Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. Um, the short-term license is approved. Thank, Thank you, you. Gabrielle Bell. Good luck with everything. Thank you. All right. Yeah, good luck tonight. It's already full, so we're doing great. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> All okay. right, thanks guys. So, Thank you. all right, so that's, so back to the transfer application. Do we wanna, was there a motion on the table to open the hearing? Was that you, Dylan? Oh uh, yeah, I'll make the motion. Uh, okay, great. Here. Is there a second? I'll second. All right, thanks Hallie. Um, let's take a vote, guest on. Aye. Um, Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye the hearing to approve the transfer application of transfer license uh, is open. So who would like to talk about this? Steve, are you gonna do an introduction or Nicole? Um, so Nicole indicated she would be able to, um, she was involved in this. Nicole, I don't know if you're able to hear us or you're able to talk. No. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Hello. Hello. Oh, can you hear me? You. No. Can you hear me? No. I'm looking for the um, the license board where we abut the property on 163 um, Coles Road. One. Well, no. I'm sorry. It, it's for the provision for 113 Coles Road. That's what I'm just listening for the meeting for. Oh, you're here to listen for the meeting. You're not. Yeah. Here to give testimony. Okay. No. So is anyone here to give testimony? I guess not. Do we have any other attendees? No. Is Mr. Corcoran is here for the, that's the the common Vic down in South Yeah, Mr. Mr. Corcoran, I don't know if you're you're here to speak in this uh, application too. Um, I'll just allow you to talk in case you're not able to raise your hand and you can just let us know if, if, if this is, um, I know you have a business right in the area. Uh, <clears throat> I really don't have any comments. I was just curious about what was happening. All right, oh. thank you. All right, thank you. And so, um, so Nicole is not here in, to talk about the license. You're just a a resident. So I suppose then. I will just introduce this then if um, none of the applicants are here. I did try to communicate to them that, um, yeah, I, I've been in communications with them. There's a few things missing from their application um, among other things. Um, there was just some paperwork. Uh, they'd need a, a lease for their a lease or a, a deed for their current location, um, and um, the purchase and sale agreement were missing. So we wouldn't be able to approve this license today. Um, I tried to uh, communicate with the applicants to let them know that uh, they would need to um, attend and and still open the hearing. Um, but I suppose the board could um, just continue it to the next date and hopefully they would have a complete application at that time. I don't know. I mean, the board's welcome to, uh, take testimony now. Um, if they would like to, um, typically the, the applicant would speak first, but. Okay. So what is, is there a problem with taking testimony or can we do no, it I don't, while they're here? I, can we just... I guess we could just do it while they're here. We've, they've taken the time to attend. So. All right, let's do that. So um, Nicole and Mr. Corcoran, would you like to give testimony on this uh, transfer of license, cousins to provisions? I think that's. Um, I really don't have any comments uh, other than I was just curious about what was going on. Oh, okay. All right. And Nicole, did you have a, a comment uh, or any testimony to give? No, I am exactly the same as um, the other attendee. I'm, we own the property at 163 Sunderland Road and it would just call, trying to find out what's going on, that's all. Okay, all right. Um, well, I guess we're just, the, the hearing is gonna be continued until our next meeting. Um, if, as long as the, uh, the applicant and has their, everything sorted out. So commissioner, should we just continue the hearing until next time? When is the next? Yeah, does somebody have this next uh, guest on? Steve, I wonder, for the benefit of these uh, attendees, could you just tell them what the application is for? Yeah, 
thank you, Gaston. So um, the application is for um, provisions, which uh, is an existing liquor store there at uh, 113 Coles Road. Um, they have um, reached an agreement with uh, Cousins Market, which is going out of business to purchase their alcohol license. So um, the difference would be, well, currently um, Provisions only has a beer and wine license. They would, if this, uh, if this deal is approved, they would get an all alcohol license. They'd be able to sell uh, liquors as well as beer and wine. Does that answer your questions or help? Uh, yeah, I was just curious about what was happening. I, I really don't know anything about it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's what's going on. And um, we will be continuing the hearing until, when is our next meeting? Until the, is the 10th of May. And um, so is there a motion to continue the hearing? So moved. All right, thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Hallie. Any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll take a vote. Guest on. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. And I vote aye. That is four to zero with one absent. This hearing is continued until, I think the next one is May 10th. Um, is that right? Uh, could we verify the dates? I'm, I'm, uh, maybe I put them wrong in my calendar, but I, I just wonder if we could review which uh, are we in the doing first and third or second and fourth? I think we moved to the second and fourth. Okay. So it's the 10th and the 24th. Okay, got and it. And Memorial Day is what, the, the 30th now? Okay. So that doesn't put us in jeopardy of that. Okay, so the hearing is continued until May, May 10th at, is it five o'clock or six o'clock? Six. Six o'clock at six o'clock. All right, well, thank you very much, Mr. Corcoran and Nicole for stopping in and um, we can look forward to the remainder of the hearing on the 10th of May. All right, thank, on you. To the next, thank, thank you. you. On to the next item. It is the common victualler's license down on West Street. Yes, so this is for um, a business called West Street Coffee and Tea LLC. Um, I don't believe they've uh, actually opened yet. They've been um, under construction and, and building out for um, a couple of years now. Um, oh, but yeah, I they this did, um, but they did, yeah, he did submit an application to renew his common Vic. So I think he just uh, okay. wasn't, um, wasn't aware of that being not open. All right. Does anyone have any questions about the common Vic? Hearing none, uh, is there a motion to approve the common victualler's license for West West Street Coffee and Tea LLC? Is that Dylan? Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thanks, Hallie. Any further discussion? There is none. We'll take a vote. Guest on. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Dylan. Aye. I vote aye. Four to zero with one absent. The common victualler's license is approved. Okay, well, that moves us into um, discussion item. So I guess meeting time is the one that has come up again. So we've narrowed down, we've kind of nailed down our meeting time to the second and fourth Tuesdays of the month at 6 p.m., is that correct? Or is, is that what everyone remembers? Okay, all right, is that good, Steve? That works for me. Okay, fantastic, so that's meeting time. Um, adult use marijuana, Doug is not here. So we'll put that, move that forward. Lunch cart regulations, I don't have a new draft. Um, I did find out that the, um, and I have their the minutes here. The council did approve at their last meeting the, um, to grant the board of license, to, um, board of license commissioners authority over the public way when it comes to short term lunch carts, as long as we report it to the town manager. So all our dreams have come true in that respect. And um, I was thinking Gabrielle was here, but if I could run a draft of our lunch cart regulations, not that we're in the business of, you know, drumming up business, but just so she could take a look at it and cast so see that we're friendly, we are lunch cart and business friendly um, in her view would be a nice thing to do. So hopefully I will get that done before our next meeting. Um, what's up next? Guidelines, oh, guidelines, regulations for liquid license decisions. Um, 
Steve, have you heard anything? I did send those off to the uh, attorney, so I should hopefully great. be discussing those with him later this week. Okay. Um, <clears throat> all right, great. And license fee comparison chart? No, nothing to report. In process. Okay, super. Um, okay, so that's our discussion items. Topics not reasonably anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting. So Steve sent around an email exchange with Mandy Johanneke and they're working on rental regulation bylaws in the town council and Gaston has been in touch with Mandy and can you take it from here? Yes, uh, so uh, uh, understanding that this wasn't noticed on the, the agenda, I, I just wanna say a couple of things. One is that um, I think we should forward to the board and put this on the agenda next time. Uh, we should forward to the board the email that has the attachments, Steve. Um, and if you don't have those, I, I can send them or, or Marion can, can send them to you. Yeah. Um, yeah, if you could, please. I don't think I do. OK. OK, great. Because there, there were four attachments. And I'll just say that they are undertaking a kind of a massive uh, revision. It's, it's very detailed, and um, whereas Hallie and I working with the town inspection were being, um, I would say kind of surgical in, in, the, in the changes, pretty focused and limited. This is a much more uh, comprehensive uh, overview introducing kind of new policy ideas. And I think the invitation is for the license commission to consider where we think we should uh, be involved in any of the licensing relating to uh, rentals. And I think it's a very good question. And because I, I think the answer could be not at all, uh, or we might find that there's some spaces. Uh, but I guess what I would suggest is that at the next meeting after the, the board has uh, received these attachments, uh, I can present what I see as the kind of major policy issues. And, and what I would suggest are the areas where we might consider getting involved uh, and, and, and to talk about that. Okay, that sounds great. Um, anybody have any questions for Gaston? No? Okay, so we'll get those attachments forwarded to you. We'll put it on the agenda for next time. And um, I will email Mandy tonight and let her know that this is in process. So we, everything should be good with that. Um, are there any other topics not reasonably anticipated? It's the one I'm going to ask every time we're on Zoom. Oh, yeah. Steve, any, any updates? Any any words? I uh, have not heard anything. I did see an article in the newspaper um, calling for the state to uh, extend remote meeting laws permanently, but I uh, have not heard anything on the local level outside of that. Are you? Okay. All right. Anything else? Thanks, Dylan. Anybody? Nope. Okay. Review of minutes. Did we, we didn't have minutes this time? Um, I had them pretty much done, but the formatting was all screwed up. So I figured oh. I would uh, <laughs> okay. wait until they were in finishable form. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay. So nothing else. We have our meeting time. Next meeting is May 10th at 6 p.m. And that's it. So I will entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you, Dylan. Is there a second? Second. Thanks, Hallie. Um, I assume there's no further discussion, so we'll take a vote. Gaston? Aye. Dylan? Aye. Hallie? Aye. And I vote aye. Uh, we are adjourned at 6.21 p.m. Um, that was fast. Okay. Thanks, everybody. And I'll Thank see, you. You, see you next time. Thanks a lot, Thank Steve. Thank you. All right. And I will just, uh, just say before bye. you guys take off, we do have um, a... Um, we have three full liquor license applications scheduled for the next meeting, including Ooh, this okay. one. So I right. um, expect okay. it to be a long one. Okay. All right. Okay. Is the uh, Oyster Bar one of them? Yes, it's the Oyster Bar um, Protocol and uh, and this one here. So. Oh, okay. Wow. All right. Very exciting. Sounds good. Here's to drinking in Amherst. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. All right. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Bye, everyone.